Hi, today we will have a look at a quite a not usual piece of aircraft control panel. We have here a very flat control box and it is an intervalometer. So what is the purpose of an intervalometer? In fact, it is for a bomber's aircraft when bombing uh, dump bombs where, which are not uh, guided. You set the numbers of bombs you, you will release at each time and the delay between two bombs, it seems. So you can go from 1 to 24 and the delay here is given in uh, milliseconds. We have also three uh, backlights bulbs in this thing. Like so, I am missing the bulb in this one, but you can see it is a little red uh, filter. And uh, this is a clear plastic front plate with a black paint over it. They are always made this, like this. Here we have some kind of uh, light indicator with a pulse dot to test function. So, it is made by uh, um, it is not really written, so on the back we have, it is French made, we have a label with a caution transistorized circuits, and here is the information for you, a manufacturer cure date of uh, December 1976, Serial number 195, and we have a NATO number here, and the manufacturer number also, which you can uh, Google, it is a cage called the cage number. And the manufacturer may be written here on the side, it may be Telec. So you can see we have a black Amerton cover on this thing. The fittings, I have opportunity to demonstrate them for uh, attaching in the cockpit, but thus fasteners. I happen to have a bit of uh, this rail. So, in fact, there is a groove here at the back with a uh, shape like so. I will zoom in for you. And the rail has a metal uh, rod holes on the metal rod uh, riveted or um, sealed inside, like so, you can see. It is just uh, some piece of steel wire, I guess. And how it works, in fact, it is just a quarter turn thing. And it will lock in place, uh, like so, very well. And to release, just a quarter turn, very easy, very fast. So it should be really quick to take a cockpit apart with these fittings and remove all the panels. I guess the rear connectors will give you more trouble than these things. Okay, so now what do we have in this? I have just two screws to undo for the cover. It is quite unusual, we have here uh, Hexagonal head screws, not uh, something you see very often. And it should come right off. And yes, here we are. So, what do we have? We have tons of conformal coating. So, first, this side, we have here some kind of uh, motherboard. And I will not show how it will show on camera, but in fact there is like two or three millimeters of clear coating as a silicone group. Here it seems this board was reworked and they had to cut the coating to access the solders and uh, remove one board. And then they did refill it. But oddly enough, this uh, boards here, with, uh, which are probably the terminal boards for the 
yes of the contact rotary switches are not coated. The structure of the thing is made of aluminium pieces. There is one here, very massive one, back plate here, similar one here and the front piece. Here are the remains of the seal. And on the other side, yes, we can see we have a lot of wires here. So the switches are mounted in sandwich between these two things, these two PCBs. It looks like I could undo these screws here in order to flip open the front uh, piece. But anyway, these wires are quite short, so it will probably go nowhere. If I do this, as you can see, they are completely uh, soaked in uh, conformal cutting here, in goop. And here we have a set of circuit boards. You can see that we have little grooves on the side pieces to slide them in and solder them. So what do we have on them? I will try to zoom at my best. We have on this one here a little surface mount chips. Seems to be gold and ceramic packages. No, I cannot uh, remove it. I cannot undo this thing without breaking completely the coating. Uh, we have second board here, seems to be mostly capacitors and a few resistors. And we have a set of boards with, on the rear side, more of these little ICs. And on the front side, capacitors, uh, round metal can ICs. As it is the same on the other boards, except the two last ones, which seems to carry some uh, power transistors. Yes, this may, might be the power supply section. Excuse me, a little bit out of frame. So I will try to undo at least this board here. And uh, maybe so here for some reason we have no conformal coating at all. Not sure why. So what do we have on this one? Just uh, what seems to be a fuse, maybe. And the power resistor. Four wires going to it. It did reveal some uh, inductor here, bolted on the side with pretty serious uh, copper wire. Okay. And other side, I guess we might have some transformer. Like so, will it? I do not remember if I did already undo it previously or not. Yes, it is coming off, so power transistors. With all the logos, and you can see in fact, they are screwed to a metal piece, which is bolted to the structure of the device for its thinking purpose and here probably more power supply related uh, stuff. We have a uh, glass coated resistor here and it looks like the conformal coating is a little bit burned around it. Here we have a tiny relay in a metal can made by Teledyne. In fact you can see it is a relay to, to the uh, writings on it. Here is the schematic of it with the contacts. Yes, Tiledine relays. It is upside down, but quite amazing. And here also you can see all the conformal coating on this thing. Pretty incredible. So probably for a very high reliability, you do not want to drop a bomb when not expected, I guess. It should be quite bad. So 
Uh, if it is uh, relative to uh, weapon equip equipment, probably there is even more rules to follow when designing the stuff. On the front, we just have um, spring mechanism for the buttons to stop at the defined uh, positions. And yes, uh, sliding contacts here on the other PCBs, it seems. Wires, and you can see the pretty serious construction of the thing. All this is. Uh, uh, Solid aluminium, uh, milled in a block, it seems. Yes, machined aluminium, no die cast here. All made from a big block. Okay, and again, the back side, where you can see the quite amazing conformal coating. And here, by the way, uh, probably they did put the thing in some kind of a mold and then uh, drop all the coating. Uh, as a liquid and you can see here we have the back of the inductor thing and the back of the connector which is EVD bolted to this part here you have the springs for the buttons some kind of cams with little rollers probably and a star shaped disc which will uh, stop only at certain positions Ok, so pretty amazing stuff. Yes, one of the board was replaced, it seems. About this uh, golden ICs here, the model number on them are SFC 493 PM, it looks like. Dead code of 1976, also. Ok, so I had this item in my collection for a very long time. It is one of my first uh, uh, aircraft pieces with real electronics inside, if I remember correctly. I have it since uh, year 2000 at least, or something like this. Maybe even uh, before. So it is really a long time item in my collection. Ok, thanks for watching. Bye bye.